Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I always think of you guys, you're in the business of gathering people, which during COVID went through sort of an existential crisis, or did it? It, it did. It, it was absolutely a challenge for us, as it was for so many other people. Uh, we came up with a way to not miss one week of television. Thanks to our performers, who we call our superstars, our producers, our writers, we did every week of television for Fox and USA and fortunately got through it okay. Is there pent-up demand, or were you able to stay active enough to where your consumer base got enough of the product during the worst of the, of the pandemic? We, we think both, Carl. So when we had the return of live fans last July, we returned to sold-out arenas. We did a big stadium show in Las Vegas in August that sold out Allegiant Stadium, 55,000 people there. So both. We need our fans, yet we were able to put on the product without them. What's the significance of two nights? It's first time ever, right? First time ever. We thought there was an appetite out there for more WrestleMania. For us, we think we're just on the precipice of doing something even bigger than what we've already been able to do. And two nights made sense. If you look at the ticket sales, we think our, our thoughts are reflected in those strong sales. Um, talk about the difference between the live aspect and the broadcast aspect. We just mentioned the transition to Peacock. Because we're used to this being a pay-per-view business. Yes. So in 2014, Vince McMahon, the founder and CEO of the company, took uh, all of the pay-per-views off of your traditional pay-per-view platforms and onto WWE Network, which was an SVOD. At that time, you just had to be the third best SVOD to be the third best in the world after Netflix and Hulu. So for us, as we went into 2021 with a cluttered streaming wars landscape out there, it didn't necessarily make sense to stay agnostic. NBCU slash Peacock, our longtime partner, made us an interesting offer. And for us and for our fans to be able to take our product over there at a lower price point that we were charging while offering the additional Peacock programming, it just made sense for us. I know Morgan's got a question. I do. Hi, Nick. It's Morgan. Uh, I mean, this really is a golden age in terms of content creation. So I'm wondering what that means in terms of new revenue opportunities for the company. I realize you've got scripted content that you're working on as well. How do you see that expansion taking place? See, Morgan, you already read the Wall Street Journal piece that I just did. posted not too long ago. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, scripted content, unscripted content. We think WWE is a treasure trove of intellectual property, a treasure trove that has not yet been exploited in the way that we want to exploit it. So to be able to go into that and come up with content Scripted side, unscripted side, we have over 12 projects in development uh, at different buyers all around the globe, and we're happy with where that's heading. In terms of sponsorships, is there more you can do to monetize those, monetize those and leverage the brand? I ask because a number of analysts have written about this recently. Thanks for asking. Uh, there's a number of things we can do to help further monetize every part of our business. So with sponsorship in particular, with family-friendly programming, Half of the folks who come to our live events come with a child. We think we're just getting started in that space, and we look for a lot of growth there over the next year and beyond. We mentioned NFTs in the intro. I remember this time last year, it was a lot of buzz. We've seen some value roll over. What, what are your thoughts? What do you want to do with it? You know, what the metaverse is now, NFTs were a year ago. Yeah. It's all anyone's talking about. So we did a long-term partnership with Blockchain Labs, which is owned by Fox. Our NFT platform is going to be launching uh, in about a month or so. We're hyped on it. Again, with the intellectual property we have, we think there's a lot of ways to create collectibles that our fans and fans around the world may want. We also announced a deal a few days ago with Fanatics, largely a merchandise deal, but also in the trading card space. Look for some NFT action there as well.